All right, y'all. So, um, I feel like I need my phone right now. This is the first live stream that I've ever done on YouTube um, since the DJ Connect Live. And this is where it all started. So, let me know if this is something that you guys are, like, actually into. Um, this is how everything started. I don't know how long you guys been rocking with me. Oh, yeah, we here. We here. We live. Everything is here. We good to go. So this is how everything kind of started with the DJ Connect is I started going live on Facebook. So let me know in the chat right now if this is something that you guys are interested in doing. Um, and I will definitely do tons more of these. Like, I love going live. Um... And that's it. So we're just going to hop into this video right here. Um, I'm just about to start my scratch practice for the day. So I figured, why don't I just hop on here and uh, show you guys how I practice scratching. This is what I do when I'm starting to like learn a scratch or if I just want to be practicing. Um, if you just hop on here and start freestyling and just kind of doing whatever you want and just like, you know, doing your thing, um, you're probably not going to do too well because that's not what you need to do. Like you need to be practicing properly. Proper practice prevents poor performance. That's a five piece to perfection. So this is it right here. What we're going to do right now is the baby scratch. And this is what you're going to want to do. Like whenever you're doing practice, whenever you get here behind your decks and you want to practice properly, this is what you got to do. So hopefully you guys know what a baby scratch is. If you don't, go check my videos. I've already taught you what a baby scratch is. But this is how you would properly practice doing a baby scratch. So I got my comments here. Uh, I wasn't really ready for this overall, but uh, let's get on it. We got six people watching. This is crazy. So a baby scratch is just you push forward, pull back. Push forward, pull back. And that you see, you see what happened there, and I'm sure you guys know exactly what that feeling is. We get so carried away that we just want to start doing something else. Like we have a five second attention span. And right there, I started to want to start cutting it because I was already bored of doing the baby scratch. And we've only been on this live for like eight seconds. So that's what happens. And that's what really gets us caught up. And that's where we kind of lose our focus. When you're practicing scratching, you want to be doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And I know how boring it is, but like that's the only way that you're going to learn how to do that scratch properly. So I'm just going to do the baby scratch a few more times. Um, what I was doing there was different variations, like different speeds. I was doing half notes, quarter notes, full notes. Um, and if you don't know that and like you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to go check my old videos and figure it out because that's the game changer. And that's what's really going to help you out. So I'm going to do this here. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I can pronounce your name right. But Olupat John astronaut my boy what's good welcome and if you guys didn't didn't rock with me back in the day i barely know how to read so i'm sorry if i don't pronounce your names right but uh what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna do the baby scratch i'm gonna do for one bar i'm just gonna do um full note scratches and then for four bars i'm gonna do half note scratches and then for four more bars i'm gonna do quarter note scratches so this is how you want to practice this And it might be boring and you're you're probably thinking in your head right now, I know how to do that. Like I've done that a million times. But unless you can do it perfectly on beat every single time, you don't know how to do it yet. And I really recommend you spend a lot of time on the baby scratch because that is the foundation to every other scratch. Like if you want to do a transformer scratch, you got to be able to do a baby scratch. <laughs> It's the same thing, but now you're just adding in those clicks. You're hitting the crossfader on and off. So let's just do that baby scratch again, and then we're quickly going to hop over to the rest of those notes. Wow. 
And then, like, you can kind of see what's happening here. Like, now we can start adding those in, different variations. Uh, shout out Uganda right now. <laughs> shout out Uganda. Oh, bro, I, that means a lot, man. Like, shout out to you right now. Anything you guys need from me, always let me know. Uh, it's very clear to me already that people are feeling these live streams, so I'm going to do these a lot more often. I am not set up properly. Like, my mic is over here. I didn't think anyone was even going to show up, but we got a lot of people on already, so shout out all of you guys. Thank you guys for being here, and thank you so much for what you just said, bro. Like, this is a labor of love to me. I'm doing this for you guys, doing anything I can for this game. Like, this game has paid me out at this point, so I'm just trying to help you guys out. So now I'm going to do a few different variations of just the baby scratch and you can see that like just doing the baby scratch we got greg b in the building what's good what's good greg b let's go but that's the baby scratch do the baby scratch with a few different variations now, you see, I added a few more cuts in there, and that's what happens. Like, we're all musicians, but we have this five-second attention span that, like, within seconds, I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Like, I'm only supposed to be doing baby scratches, and that's what happens to all of us. We get so distracted right away that we just want to play around. We just want to, like, make it sound cool. We want to do it all sick and, and do what we can, but that's not going to help us out. You have to sit there and practice, like, drill this in. If you were playing basketball, ball and like you were, were you were on a team and your coach is like we're practicing right now we're practicing how to do dribbles or we're practicing how to shoot free throws you're just going to do that over and over and over again you're not going to go up there and like we're practicing free throws and start doing slam dunks on things that's never ever going to happen so this is the magic right here doing these drills so let's do this one more time and then we're going to move to a new scratch <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got DJ Reggie in the building. Rest, DJ Rest Leon in the building. Hand placement and proper practices to learn to scratch. Yeah, bro. Like, I'm telling you right now, the baby scratch is the foundation of all other scratches. Like, if you can't do the baby scratch, you're never going to do the crab scratch. Like, never in a million years are you going to do that. Or you're not going to do a transformer scratch because everything uses the baby scratch. Like, if you want to learn how to crab scratch... <laughs> It's, it's still a baby scratch. Like, you're still... But you're just adding in those cuts. And that's going to lead us into our next one, the Transformer Scratch. We got DJ Styles in the build. Two styles. This guy got two styles. I got two chains on. Let's go. Two styles, two chains. Yes, a metronome, and that is a big key, man. Like, this is something that held me back, too. Like, think about every other musician out there, like guitarists. If you see me looking over here, that's where my computer is, so it's hard not to look at that. I'm trying to look at you guys right here. But um, every other musician, like a guitarist, they all use metronomes, and that's to hold a beat. When you use a beat, like, it's great to use a beat, and it sounds nicer, and you can kind of, like, feel the beat out and kind of ride that beat. To use a metronome is what's going to keep you on time because it's literally just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This really changed my game. Like it tightened me up so much. When you're using a beat, like you can kind of hide behind the beat. You can like you can be a little bit off time and no one's really going to notice because the beat's there to help you out. But if you just have a metronome going, you got nothing else going on, like you're going to notice that, oh, wow, I'm late or I'm slow or I'm fast. Because there's nothing else there. All you got is that one click. Two, three, four. 
Um, so I'm going to hop over to the Transformer Scratch. And yo, shout out all you guys commenting right now. You guys show me so much love. This is crazy. The first live stream, I'm going to do a lot of these for you. Like, let me know if you like this kind of style, and I will do this all the time. This is how the DJ Connect first came um, to begin, like back on Facebook. And if you were around for that, like smash that thumbs up right now. Smash that love button. You guys are killer. So the Transformer, as we were talking, it is just a baby scratch with some cuts in it. And then with the transformer, there's like a two click transform. That's a two click transform. You got a three click, tr three click transform. And then the four click transform. Like this is the, the one that I learned first. Um, and I like to use, I learned on my left hand because I'm on the computer all the time. So I feel like, um, my hand here is a lot faster with my clicking. Um, and like, you'll see if I hop over to this side, it's still way faster, but uh, I was just used to doing this. And all you're doing is tapping the crossfader. And that's it. So let's grab a beat. And that's it. So let me check these comments real quick. 10 years learning to scratch. Bro, that's it, man. Let me tell you, like, I only just learned how, like, I've always wanted to scratch my whole career. And I only just learned how to scratch at the start of COVID. So within, like, it's probably been three years now. Um, I got good real quick because once COVID hit and I had no gigs and there was nothing else to do, I decided that right now, this is the time. Like I am going to learn how to scratch. Um, and then from there, it was just like, I had to figure out what I was doing wrong. I basically had to unlearn everything that I've learned my whole career because all I had was like bad habits. My hand would be like resting on the mixer. Um, and like, I was just lazy with it, but I really, I had no clue how to properly do it. So I had to go buy a course and learn. I got a coach who uh, taught me like some of his scratches, their combos. And the more you learn, like you're going to learn from different coaches and different people. And everyone has their own kind of flavor, their own kind of style, even though like all the scratches are the same, the baby scratch is the same, the transformer, you're going to learn like different combinations, like their style, like how they put those combinations together. And when you hear DJs going off, like going quick, doing crazy cuts, all they are are just combinations of different scratches at the same time. So you don't, don't worry about like, being crazy right away all you need to worry about right now is doing the scratch properly like doing that baby scratch properly and i promise you like very quickly you're gonna start understanding like wow oh i see what that is that's just a, a baby scratch with a transformer which would be, would be like <laughs> All that is is like a drop scratch added in with a baby scratch with a, a transformer at the end. All they are, are just that scratch combo, like they're called combinations, comboed up with other scratches. So let me check the chat here. 
Keep up the live streams. Let's go. Two styles, bro. I'm feeling that. I'm loving the live streams, bro. Bringing it back to old days. Uh, yeah, a metronome for timing. Um, can we get a link to these? Yeah, oh, for sure. I actually have... I'll, I'll put a link in this comment right after. Um, I have links with free metronome and free scr um, scratch samples. It's probably the djconnect.com slash free scratch samples, but uh, I'll make sure you, uh, you all get that. I'll put it in the comments right after. Um, cut with the crossfader. Um, so for me, the crossfader scratches were best with my right hand because that's more, my more dominant hand. I'm way nicer on that hand for like the cuts, so which that's like the, the crab scratch, transformer scratch, um, stuff like that. Anything that uses the crossfader, I'm not so good on this side. So you'll you'll see right away. <laughs> That's my like as fast as I can go with the transformer. That's it. Like that's that's as fast as I can go, which is like a hundred BPM. Where on this side I can go like one twenty BPM easy. But I can't like my record control isn't like that. My right hand is my dominant hand, but on this side I can go. So on this hand, like my record control is ridiculous. Like I can cut or I can scratch so fast. But on this side, it's more like it's a more um, what I've heard is this is like a West Coast style where it's more cut heavy um, and an East Coast style is more like um, record heavy. So faster on the, the record, whereas on this side, it's faster on the cuts. So at in the end like you want to be able to do all of these scratches with both hands but you're always going to be more dominant with um one kind of style on each hand so figure out like which one is your fastest for like transformers like my transformers are on the left side whereas my baby scratch is the right side um my crab scratch is on the left side and my flare scratch is on the right side so like you'll see right here That one is a chirp flare. I, I probably can't even do it on this side. So I'm much more dominant, like record control side on the right side, without a doubt. But uh, like my cut scratches are on the left side and my, my um, record scratches are on the right side. I hope that makes sense. I would say just practice around, learn which one is better for you. Like whichever one your dominant hand is, I would say put that on the crossfader. Um, and for anything like a baby scratch, you're going to want to use that dominant hand on the record side. So just you're going to learn very quickly like which scratch you can do. Don't feel bad. Eventually, you're going to work up and build it. And once you, once you know how to do it with one hand, it's so much easier to teach it on that second hand. But you want to be doing it properly all the time. Like you want to use that metronome, do the scratch properly first, and then you'll master it. And then like it's a lot easier to teach it on the other side because you already know what you need to do. At that point, it's just like building the muscle memory up and getting your speed up. Yeah, metronome, major key, major key. Rest gonna tell you. Bill Murray, with hard work comes great rewards. Let him know. I don't have my bomb on here right now, but that's a bomb. We'll just give you, we'll give you a whoosh right here. Yo, Rev7, bro, the Rev7 is incredible. It is the one. Normally, that's all I use, but I have a DJ competition up literally next week. So stay tuned. I got a big DJ competition in Vegas next week, and we have to use the reins. So I've just been practicing on the reins, but Rev7 all day. Like, I, I, I feel so much better on the Rev7. The platter, for sure, I'm not going to... 
I'm not gonna. It's a no contest. Like this is still a better platter, but overall, like this mixer is terrible. I don't like this mixer at all. The Rev Seven wins all day. Like it's what I use. Yeah, man. Like it is set up, bro. It's set up out the gate. You might have to change your 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 cut a little bit, but overall, like you should be good. Make sure your cut is on all the way, and you should be good. I don't think there's too many options on it. Just to pull the record back, um, it 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 all depends on you. I'd say it's best to pull it back at the start, like actually, get like actually do it in full, like. But once you once you know how to do it properly, it it doesn't really matter in the end. Um, you're going to find out what's more comfortable. But to start, I would say I would definitely recommend doing it yourself. Like push forward, pull back, push forward, pull back. And, and try not to use your whole arm. Like don't do that. Try and... try and just use your hand. Um, this is something I learned from uh, DJ Ragoza. Try and use it like bend your hand back and forth because – you're it's a lot less movement if you're using your whole hand now your whole body is moving um you can't get those really tight scratches that you could with the the least amount of movement if you want to like the faster it's a way to get yourself faster it's the only way that you can kind of see how those are different sounds that one's a lot tighter and one's a lot like longer. So che we'll check it out again. I don't know if you can catch that, but try and hear this. So they're different sounds. Like if you know the kind of sound that you want, that's uh, uh, one way to do it. So it it comes down to preference, but at the start, I would definitely recommend that you just just forever, just you just do this forever. Uh, the Rev Seven has an S Seven in it, so and the S Seven is just a newer version of the S Nine. The Rev 7 is like, in my opinion, the greatest controller ever. Like if you want a controller, if you're a mobile DJ who goes out to clubs, there is a no contest. Like I know a thousand DJs who have had the Rain 1 who have all either sold it or got rid of it or had it break on them at gigs anywhere. Um, what you like a Rev 7 is it Pioneer all day. There's no messing around with Pioneer. Pioneer is the one. Um, so I think we did the transformer already. I'm just show you guys the chirp real quick, which I was just doing here. Uh, and then I think I'm going to cut it. You guys are sick. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more live streams in the future because obviously people like live streams. So I'm just going to pull up a metronome again. And then this side's nice because I can talk while I'm doing this. I'm going to get like a better microphone system set up um, so we can do this a little bit better. But here we go. So a chirp scratch, very simple. You're just pushing forward and cutting it off right away. And then give yourself a pat on the back like you're halfway there. That was that was it. That's all you need to do. You do let's do it one more time. Done. Like that's half of it, 50% and always start slow. Like start as slow as possible. Just one little chirp. And then add in that second one at the end. I thought I got cut off there, but it was just my uh, phone here. So we're going to do it one more time. Push it forward. One. And then on the way back, you get it on that second one. Push it forward again. Pull it back. All you want to do is do it properly, like do it slow, 
always do it slow. Like, don't worry that it's like might be boring. And I get it. Like you're, you've seen it. You've seen me do it already. Like you just want to like start freestyling, having fun with it. But if you want to learn how to do this, you have to do it slow and you have to do it the proper way. So let's turn that metronome back on and we're going to do it very slow and then speed up as we go. So you can do like full note scratches. One, that's it. That's all you got to do. Two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, man. It's gonna it's gonna be on here. I'm not getting rid of it. It'll be on here forever. Like enjoy guys. But uh yeah, hopefully you guys caught that. My thing keeps cutting off, so I'm not sure if I'm still live. I think I am. Um, but I will definitely keep the video up after. Uh and let's just do it again. Very slow. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and And that's it. Like, obviously, you are not going to get that speed right away. But as long as you just practice it proper, pro proper practice prevents piss poor performance. I just added in an extra P. But that's the five P's of perfection. Like, you want to be practicing properly. If you're practicing, like, not good, you're practicing the wrong way. All you're doing is creating bad habits. And, like, all I had before this was bad habits. Like, my scratches were terrible. I sounded horrible. And that's always, be like, I did not practice the baby scratch at all. And the baby scratch is the most important scratch. Like, of any scratch that's out there, the baby scratch is the single most important because it is, it's everything. Like it's your chirp scratch. It's your transformer scratch. It's your every scratch, the crab scratch, any scratch is going to be the baby scratch. And like, you'll see right here, my, my crab on this side is terrible, but let's do it. And then on this side, way faster. And that's it, y'all. <laughs> if anyone has any questions, definitely let me know in the comments. I will respond to all of these after. And I'm going to send um, the links to the free scratch samples as well right after this. Uh, lots more lives, obviously, coming soon. Shout out all y'all who were rocking with me. Let's go. DJ Connect fam, the DJConnect.com. Let's go. Like and subscribe, too. Make sure you smash that thumbs up. Let's go.